bone to pick with George Mack. You see him last time here at Cottonwood Campground, LaDon Sanders almost beat him, which means I can definitely beat George Mack. So Mack, bring it on up here so I can chop you down to size. Blazing, you want a piece of me. You you think you can beat me. I no, I can beat him. No. Let's get, hey, hey, what do you people think? Do you awesome. like me? Yeah. Or do you like him? No. Oh. All right, kid. One, two, three, kid. Squash him, George. Yeah. Squash him. All right, ladies and gentlemen. It's the Great Lakes Professional Wrestling Showcase, and the match is about to be on. But what is Jason Blazin doing here? He's He's got a pipe, and he's... Oh, come on! He's attacking George Mack from behind. Swinging away with that pipe. Oh, see, I did, come on. Blazin said that he could beat George Mack, and this could be how. He's trying to pummel the big man before before the match even begins. Blazin just throwing in those knees, getting tons of velocity on him. Now putting the star of destiny in the ring. Ref Russ indeed calls for the bell. This match is on. Once again, welcome to the Great Lakes Professional Wrestling Showcase. We're glad you're able to join us this week. Uh, we're starting things off with Jason Blazin versus George Mack. This is actually uh, possibly uh, the first rematch we've seen here over the past 42 episodes of the Great Lakes Professional Wrestling Showcase. We saw these two wrestle way, way, way back in the first, uh, the first few episodes, and now Blazin getting some experience under his belt, choking away at George Mack. There, I think Ref Russ needs to be careful. He needs to make sure that he's. Oh, Blazin dropping the knee on the back of the head of the big man. He's going to have to keep Mac down if he lets him get up to his feet. We could end up seeing the same thing that happened to LaDon Sanders a few weeks ago here on the Great Lakes Professional Wrestling Showcase. Now choking again. You cut off the air from the big man, you're going to make it really difficult for him to get up to his feet and, and put the offense in that he's looking to use. Blazin taking a full advantage of his five count that he has allowed before disqualification is called. He's trying to take the win. You see that he's he's mainly attacking the torso. Every once in a while throwing some shots into the head there. But he was mainly attacking the torso, which is an excellent idea if what you're trying to do is take the wind away from your opponent. If they can't breathe, they can't do anything. Now Blazin goes to whip Mac. Not enough though. And Mac just comes right in. Hard chops in the corner. You see the big man is He's definitely having some troubles. Ooh, big clothesline. Blazing drops to the ground. Now Mac coming over. Oh, Put the boots to blazing now. Uh oh. Charging in. Oh! He took himself down with that one. Still feeling the effects of that pipe shot to start the match, and then the uh, the pummeling that he's taken since. Now Mac picks him up. He's 
got him high in the air. It slams him down to the mat. Uh-oh. He hit the slam. There's the big splash. That's got to be it. No! Blaze and Abel to roll the body up. It was a lackadaisical cover there by Mac. That is for sure. But he's not done yet. Oh, he just hit the death blow. What's he doing? He's, he's picking Blaze it up. Oh, no. Oh, there he goes. Cranking. Cranking with that stretch. And that's it. Blazin is tapped out. There is your winner, the star of destiny, George Mack. Convincing, but Blazin definitely, definitely had the upper hand for most of that match. Let's get some words from the star of destiny. You know what? Jason Blazin, you took a page out of everybody else's book. You attacked me from behind. The Purge, Ladon Sanders, Jason Blazin out into the list. They're all attacking me from behind. I want to fight someone face to face in that ring. Yeah. And I don't know who it's going to be, but I do know that the beating that they receive will be their destiny. All right, folks, let's hear from our sponsors before we get to our main event. Are you looking for a new or used vehicle? Call Zach Brendel at Shaheen Chevrolet, 517-272-6523. Tell him Capital Pro Wrestling sent you and enjoy your new vehicle. Do you need delicious, authentic Mexican food? Do you know those delicious burritos you can find at Capital Pro Wrestling events? Get them anytime you want from El Burrito Mexicano. Order ahead for takeout. 517-327-8222. Looking for something different? Check out the Brave Wimp. They have a line of eco-conscience wearable pop art and more. Visit them at the Rust Belt Market in downtown Ferndale or online at Etsy.com slash shop slash the Brave Wimp. Need a windshield repaired? Call Tony at TNT Auto Glass, 517-819-0888. Printing services and more are available through Jam Clothing and Designs. Need custom t-shirts? Call Jam. Need posters or other printouts? Call Jam, 517-894-4589. We're away from our home for now, but The Fledge is always working to better the community. Get involved at thefledge.com or look them up on Facebook. Footprints of Michigan is always looking for new or lightly used shoes and boots to help the homeless and veteran population of Michigan. Visit footprintsofmichigan.org or contact by phone 877-811-SHOE. Find information on all of our advertising partners on our Facebook page at CPW Lansing and our website www.americanluchalibre.com Alright ladies and gentlemen we are back and it is main event time for this week. That's right you see it on the screen. Zach Abiza versus Josh Raymond is our main event. There you see coming to the ring, Zach Ibiza himself. And his opponent, certainly not one to be taken lightly ever for any reason. This is the one and only the incomparable Josh Raymond. He is a true pro in that ring. And he certainly has something that he is going to want to show his uh, his trainee see that's the thing Zach Ibiza trained for professional wrestling by Josh Raymond 
Uh, he's gotten to the point where he says, hey, I'm better than you. I've got more talent. I've got more skill. I've got the look that you don't have. And I want your spot in professional wrestling. He's going to have to try to take it away because Josh Raymond is not going to give it to him uh, without a fight. And here we go. Bell rings. Collin and elbow tie up to start things off. Raymond pushes Ibiza back to the corner. Clean break. Wonder if uh, Ibiza would give him the same thing. Ibiza takes Raymond back to the corner, uses the, uh, the hood on the jacket there, and he did not give the clean break. Did not give the clean break at all. Kick to the midsection. Irish whip. Reversed. Raymond pushed him through. Whoa! Athleticism by Ibiza and a slap to the face for the disrespect. Uh, Josh Raymond throws Ibiza out to the uh, the infield in between second base and the pitcher's mound. Now looks like Raymond hitting the ropes. Baseball slide. No, Ibiza able to duck. Oh, kick to the gut. And Raymond, oh, Raymond but jumps up, uses the ropes for bounce, and comes back down with that clothesline. Excellent maneuver there by Josh Raymond. S firmly in control of this match. He's got uh, Ibiza on the ropes, literally. Big knife edge chop. Whips him across. Ibiza holds on. Oh, and hangs him out to dry, Raymond. Oh, and he hit, just flips him over and drops him down, Ibiza. Ibizo, we'll call that one. And Josh Raymond, now worse for worse for wear. Ibiza raking the eyes up against the ropes there, trying to blind the opponent. And uh, this, uh, this kind of uh, ruthlessness that Ibiza is starting to bring to the ring is exactly what he feels he needs in order to be a winner here in Capital Pro Wrestling. Now Ibiza choking the life out of Josh Raymond. Fans here, the split. You know, there's some people that like that uh, that dastardliness that uh, Ibiza brings to the ring. That's for sure. Ibiza saying it's his time, but he gets a slap to the face for his trouble. Now Raymond fighting back. Irish whip again, reverse though. Ibiza charges, cartwheel, ooh, elbow up into the chest, oh, and a jumping back brain kick. Ibiza on top, oh, he hit that flipping neck breaker, that's got to be it, one, two, no, oh, Josh Raymond somehow able to get the shoulder up, seen that maneuver put away many, many men in my career. Now Ibiza with a neck crank, pulling the head and pulling the uh, chin up and the, pushing the head down, I should say, and endearing himself to the fans of the crowd. A smart move for Ibiza. It's a very, very hot day out today at Cottonwood Campground. Ibiza getting a breather while taking away Raymond's ability to get a breather. Now throwing the elbows, Raymond back up to his feet, he hits the ropes. Ooh, swings him around for that neck breaker. Near fall, but only a two count, not able to get the three. It was an excellent maneuver, but not enough to put Josh Raymond away. Uh-oh. 
Ibiza scaling the ropes. He's up top. Could he go for that big splash? Yeah. Oh, oh Josh Raymond gets out of the way, and Ibiza eats Matt. Oh, he got some air on that one, but he did not find what he wanted. Josh Raymond asking for the crowd to give him the energy he needs, and he's back up to his feet. Ooh. Hard chop, Ibiza fights back. Irish whip. Raymond jumps over Sunset. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Careful, sensors. Only a two count. Ibiza in all sorts of trouble right now. He's got a malfunction going on. Up and over and Ibiza hits the ground. Big clothesline takes Ibiza down and there he goes. Now Raymond taking advantage, lung blower! He just hit the backpack lung blower, he's got the leg hooked! Oh, that was enough to put away Nolan Edwards a few weeks ago here on the Great Lakes Professional Wrestling Showcase. But Ibiza able to get out of that pinning predicament at the last possible moment. Now Ibiza, oh. Raymond tries for that kick. Ibiza able to pull him over. He tries to hook the tights. But pulls just too much. Pulls him right over. Jawbreaker. Stepping back brain kick. That could be enough. Ibiza. Setting Raymond up where he wants him. Could be a split legged moonsault. There it is. Only a two count though. Need to be a little bit tighter on that cover if you're gonna if you're gonna put a man like Josh Raymond away. You'd better be sure about it. Ibiza goes for the wizard. Rolls through. Oh, there's that kick. Raymond was going for that kick. He got it this time, and now he's setting him up. Package pile driver. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, Josh Raymond. Hey, wait a second. Team Honey Badger running out to ringside. Oh, no. Oh, come on. This man has just been in the ring against Zach Ibiza for the better part of 10 minutes and the attack. But, hey, Jamie Cox coming down. And Team Honey Badger doesn't want anything to do with Jamie Cox. Welcome Jamie Cox here to Capital Pro Wrestling. Oh, come on. He turned his back on Team Honey Badger. Oh, but here comes the big man. George Mack. And look what he's got. I think he found that pipe. Derek and Conrad better be very careful. I know they're doing the bidding for their coach, C.J. Achen, but they have to be smart about what they're doing and not pick fights with people that uh, they may not be able to, to win against. But it is Team Honey Badger. When you have C.J. Achen in control, but here we go, Josh Raymond, your winner in this match. Cox and Mac make the save. We're gonna hear for, uh, some words from Josh Raymond here in just a second. CJ Otis, Team Honey Badger, you have the wrong enemy. Josh Raymond doesn't like, doesn't like that. And I'm hurt, I'm hurt right now. Zach Abiza, you got all the tools in the world. But you also have two things that I didn't teach you, and that's that arrogance and bad attitude. Once you lose that, the world's in front of you. However, CJ, you're looking at the new Capital Pro Television Champion. 
and Cox. Jamie Cox, everybody! Hey Cox, Cox, I got an idea, man. Those two bozos that just jumped Josh Raymond that just jumped you. How would you like to have a tag team match against those two? Oh, are you kidding me? Hold on a second. How would you guys feel about seeing us get those bozos behind all over this place? The people have spoken. It's on. Team Honey Badger, we're going to see you in a little bit. And that is your destiny. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for tuning in. That's going to be it for us at the Great Lakes Professional Wrestling Showcase.